Good morning. Big Poppy is in the house. All right, in the past, if you want to go back and look at how I made a uh, primer uh, alarm system with a auto feed on the Loadmaster Lead Press, uh, what I want to do today is start uh, telling you exactly all the parts that you'll need, and I'll show you all the tools that you're going to need. And it's probably going to take about three videos start to finish. Uh, hopefully we'll have a little time to get some of it started today. Um, and again, I'm not an expert. Not liable if you make one and if you get wires crossed around or something goes bad or something happens. Uh, want to make sure I say that I'm not liable for that. Um, I've got uh, one that's been in operation probably now for uh, probably a couple months. And I'm building, uh, I need seven more. I got eight presses. And then if you have questions as we're going, if you just want to put on the bottom of the YouTube, um, I'll try to answer those um, as best I can. And um, it works out pretty good. And uh, uh, what this system allows is once you start getting in the groove of pulling that handle down and getting your rounds coming out, um, I know a long time ago when I started, um, I'd be pulling that handle down to find out later that the primers were empty and wasn't even in the shell casing. So um, what this does is allow you to get down to seven primers and this alarm system starts beeping and it's really loud and it tells you that it's time to put more primers in the um, reservoir. So uh, what you're going to need as far as components and there's I'm going to show you a few different ways you could do it. You don't have to do it where you have to solder everything. So I've got three different scenarios here of how you can do it. So let's start out with what you're going to need. Okay, one is you're going to need a power outlet, power supply. And this one is two amps that comes in. So not a lot of amps going into the system. You need one of those. You're going to need to buy a seven foot cat six network cable and I bought a seven so I can make two of them out of it. I originally started using telephone wire uh, but what happened is there's a, I come up one shy on my wire so what I had to do is run it to the outside like what you see here and I don't like that I want everything to be enclosed into the wire and that will look like this and I just cut the end off and it's gray and it's got I believe seven wires in it okay all right you're gonna need your project box I'm using a two inch by two and a half by five inches long so basically a box this is your cover this is the box itself Okay, on this system, you're going to need a female uh, that goes on to your power supply. There's a gram and a uh, red for positive. And just to show you, this is the one that goes on this alarm system we're going to build. This is what comes in from your power plant, power pack, and it goes together and it makes contact. Okay, all right, next thing is you're going to need a, uh, they call it a photoelectric switch sensor in Farad. And you want to go with the one that's got four wires on here and not the three. Now, I may have to go ahead and show you how to do because it it's really hard sometimes to find uh, the four on eBay. And that's, I try to buy everything American made as much as I can, but some of the stuff they don't offer here in the States and uh, you can go to eBay and buy a lot of this stuff really cheap. And since I'm building eight units, that's what I did. So again, uh, this is what it looks like. It's going to have four wires. Okay. You're going to need to get you a uh, bigger sensor here. And this is 2564. And this is called a slot PCB photo interpreter sensor. And part number is HY8104, and uh, you get 10 pieces for 10 bucks. Okay? All right, you're going to need 
for the vibration system that actually feeds your primers down through this chute here you're going to need a button it's uh, consistent when you push the button you're breaking the current and it puts it together and it activates it okay so you're going to need one of those all right you're going to need a grommet rubber thing you're going to what i do is i drill a hole in the side of it here and then i insert this in it so it doesn't cut into the wires uh, you're going to need some pins uh, these are called uh, two pin male uh, they're called female jumper wires you can get like a hundred of them for four bucks so this one is the single this one is the double and then you'll have to buy these little inserts for the connectors that go on the wires and then they feed into the pin uh, female part here okay now you can go that route if you choose if you don't want to go that route on eBay they sell these strips of wires and it's already soldered pins everything uh, for what you need and you just take it rip it off now you are you already have the ends already on the wire you can save a lot of time you're gonna need some other uh, uh, wire black and red use fairly common in most of this application here okay you're going to need some shrink tube uh, to put over your wires, tubing. You're going to need a light. You can pick, there's all different types out there, small, large, what have you. I'm using a 110 VAC blue one here. And I think I paid $650 for uh, maybe 10 of them on this. You're going to need an on and off switch. You can pick this up, Lowe's, Menards. Home Depot, pretty common. You're gonna need a buzzard, and I do have some information if you choose to buy some of this stuff from uh, Radio Shack. And I could probably walk through and keep telling you what all these components are. Um, okay, so you're gonna need that. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is, if you go to the three wire system, um, I've already improved this uh, from what I've been using for a couple months and then you've actually got a circuit board up here that the wires go on so what happens is uh, there's a hole right here on both sides and it's got a sensor on it so when these primers do not fill this cavity here it sets the alarm off and that's with the three wire and what I'm going to show you is to try to use a four wire um, I think it works out a lot better, and I'll show you why as we get farther along. Okay, of course, you're going to need your uh, primer um, unit here to be able to attach this alarm system to it. Okay, um, let's see. Gonna... All right, so that's the main components you're going to need. Now let's talk about for a minute the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a drill. Um, if you choose to use wire ties or if you want to solder it or if you want to use the connectors that you can crimp however you want to do it I've got these little gray wire ties okay you're gonna need a utility knife you're gonna need a wire stripper you're gonna need an assortment of drill bits you're going to need a couple of these uh, helping hands now some of you might be able to do it without these or you can use a vise these come in really i mean handy okay uh let's see you're going to need some solder i'm using uh 60 40. Uh, you're going to need a soldering iron or gun and let's see now what I do uh, when I'm drilling my holes in my uh, project box here is I start out with a, a drill bit and you'll notice I have one of these and what this does is allow you to go to different lengths instead of changing a whole bunch of uh, uh, drill bits in your in your drill okay So, with that said, 
this will be uh, the primer alarm video one and in number two I'll start showing you how to start putting this system together as always uh, good shooting and thank you <laughs>